I'm a dirty taggart in a brave new world Gonna free this town If you didn't know about me already Well, you know it with now Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Objectivist Girl if you haven't met me already. And that was my song Shrug. Hopefully that'll be in Atlas Shrug Part 3 the movie. And behind me you'll see the Free State Project flag because I'm filming at the Free State Project headquarters in New Hampshire. So today guys we're going to talk about epistemology and Ayn Rand's epistemology. So I talked to you guys about the first five chapters in Anthem. And one of the things that comes up is her epistemology. It says, those things which are not known by all do not exist. So we're going to discuss that today. So epistemology is a science devoted to the discovery of the proper methods of acquiring and validating knowledge says the introduction to objectivist epistemology. This means that objectivists acquire knowledge through reason and rationality. This means that they use their mental faculties to acquire knowledge about the world around them in order to make proper decisions about their rational self-interest. Because existence exists, this knowledge about the world is knowable. This means that even though we have a finite existence and a limited amount of storage space in our minds, we would be capable without these limitations of discovering all the knowledge about everything in the world because it's there to discover. And since man is not omniscient or infallible, you have to discover what you can claim as knowledge and how to prove the validity of your conclusions, says Ayn Rand in Philosophy Who Needs It. This means in order to overcome our human flaws, we use discovery and proof to show the validity of our claims about reality. Now, Ayn Rand is known for redefining terms in her material, so I want to define a few terms now so that we can be very clear. Ayn Rand says that we find out about reality and discover knowledge through reason and rationality. Reason is the faculty which identifies and integrates the material provided by man's senses. The method which reason employs in this process is logic, and logic is the art of non-contradictory identification. And rationality means the recognition and acceptance of reason as one's only source of knowledge, one's only judge of values, and one's only guide to action. It means one's total commitment to a state of full conscious awareness, to the maintenance of a full mental focus in all issues, in all choices, in all one's waking hours. Whew, that's a lot, but it's very important if we want to achieve the kind of life that we would like to live. We have to obtain the knowledge necessary to make the proper decisions about our life. This means that we have to use logic to discover what exists and how we can use that to our self-interest and then we have to accept this and use this through rationality. In every waking hour of our lives, we must accept what is reality and not try to run from what it is. This means we can't pretend we can fly so we can get to Chicago on time for a big job interview. We need structured planning and money to get that big job interview. Rationality is the recognition of the fact that existence exists, that nothing can alter the truth and nothing can take precedence over the act of perceiving it. Now, some important things about objectivist epistemology. Epistemology, or the study of knowledge, is the way that we find out what is in our rational self-interest. Without using logic or reason, we can't find out about reality and we can't know what is possible and what is not. And if we don't know, then we can't use rationality to discover our happiness by working with what is possible and accepting what is not. Man has to acquire knowledge by his own effort, which he may exercise or not, and by a process of reason, which he may apply correctly or not. Nature gives him no automatic guarantee of his mental efficiency. He's capable of error, evasion, and of psychological distortion. If he needs a method of cognition, which he himself has to discover. He must discover how to use his rational faculty, how to validate this conclusion, how to distinguish truth from falsehood, how to set the criteria of what he may accept as knowledge. Two questions are involved in his every conclusion, conviction, decision, choice, or claim. What do I know and how do I know it? 
How is important because one must determine the reality of things we know beyond a doubt in order to make the right decisions about his future. This will lead to a life of happiness when we don't live in fairy tales and we don't pretend. When we look around and accept things for what they are and work with them instead of against them, then we can truly be happy. We can't change what is, but we can work with it to get what we want out of life. So I hope you enjoyed this today. This is Ayn Rand's epistemology. I hope you learned a lot. I would love to hear what you guys think of her epistemology below. Is knowledge knowable? Let me know. So this has been my video for the day. I hope you'll join me next week. Below I've included links to my Facebook, Twitter, and blog so you can hear even more from me. And I've also included a link to my song Shrug so that you can check the rest of that out. So have a great day, guys. And remember, knowledge is not for all men, but for those who seek it. So keep seeking.